Well, good morning and welcome to News 12 Forum on location from the Medal of Honor Park here in Gainesville. I'm your host, Jeremy Thomas. Well, this week begins one of the great traditions, not only in our area, but in our nation. It is the Medal of Honor Week from the Medal of Honor host city of Gainesville, Texas. It starts this Wednesday. So for this episode of News 12 Forum, we learn all about the patriotic program, its impact on our area, and for what's to come for this week. We'll also talk to the Medal of Honor recipients about how this week reminds them that their service and that their sacrifice is never forgotten. So first, we start by learning all about the Medal of Honor Host City Program. Now we're joined by Tommy Moore, the president of the Medal of Honor Board of Directors. Mr. Moore, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Pleasure to be here, Jeremy. So tell us a little bit about the Medal of Honor Program and what the Medal of Honor is. Well, the Medal of Honor itself uh, is the highest uh, award any soldier can earn for uh, military action in the United States. Uh, in the history of uh, the military, there's only been 3,505 awarded uh, total, uh, mostly posthumously awarded, uh, which is uh, sad, uh, of course. But uh, of those that remain with us, um, currently today we have 72 living Medal of Honor recipients in the United States. And the Medal of Honor Host City program itself, it's a patriotic program where we honor uh, the recipients of the Medal of Honor. Um, and it's a way to introduce uh, people in public, uh, especially young children, um, to a, a real life hero, someone who's actually gone out and put it on the line. And uh, it's their um, mission in life to pass down the characteristics that go along with the Medal of Honor now. And this program started back in 2001. That's correct. And I think a lot of people are fascinated that the Medal of Honor Host City Program is in Gainesville. So tell us how that all got started. Uh, the founder of the program, his name was Don Pettigrew. Uh, Don used to uh, attend uh, the Southwest Iwo Jima uh, Survivors Reunion every year, uh, starting in the early 90s. And uh, one year he was over there visiting uh, during their program, and uh, he noticed that there were two Medal of Honor recipients who weren't there. And uh, he asked, why weren't they there? And they said, there's no money. Well, he came home with that story, sharing that with uh, our mayor and a couple of philanthropists. And uh, they said, well, then we should do something about that. And he goes, I think you're right, let's do that. So the city uh, put a line item budget of $15,000 in the budget that year. And the philanthropists gave some money and they brought, uh, they started bringing Medal of Honor recipients to Gainesville. So, Mr. Pettigrew, here we are, I guess 18 years later. 18 years later. To see the amount of growth from when it first started in 2001 to now, I mean, what goes through your mind at that point? Well, uh, we had no idea. When we started, uh, it was just any time a recipient came. And in the first, I don't know, two years, we had three show up just randomly and then we decided maybe we should have a reason for them to come to Gainesville so that's when we started planning an event and we did it around Medal of Honor Day originally and the word got out that hey this, these are real folks in Gainesville you need to go so and it's more like a family reunion now than it is an event for, both for them and us. You know, I, I was out at the hotel the other day, and uh, I, I'm kind of the liaison with the hotel, and I was giving them the list, and I told them about uh, one of the guys that hadn't been here in several years, and the, the hotel staff said, oh, is he coming back? Is he gonna come in at two o'clock in the morning like he did the last time? I mean, that's really neat, you know. Uh, it's one of those, type deals have you ever had something really neat happen to you and you and you say to yourself boy i wish i could share this with everybody i know well that's kind of what this has turned into with the recipients coming in of course you get to spend time with them what's it like to hear those stories you are a veteran as well i am. thank you for your service well thank you what is it like to hear those stories and to see this event come together to honor them 
the first thing that touches me the most is their friendship. Um, such an honor to get up in the morning and you know put your shirt on like everybody else and know that these these heroes do the exact same thing. Uh, and for them to call you on the phone and ask how your kids are or ask how your family is is uh, is probably the biggest honor for me personally. Uh, but when you're in their presence and you get to meet them, um, it's flattering for the simple fact that we're all very ordinary people, every one of us. Uh, they just so happened to be called to do something very extraordinary, and they were identified for that. Um, and their humility is probably one of the most uh, touching things because they'll, they wear that ribbon for one reason and one reason only, and that's for the, the ones that didn't come home. When I was here in 2016 and actually got to talk to some of the recipients, they talked about this community, mm -hmm. how special it is, how they have rallied around, and how they have seen this as probably the patriotic, most patriotic town in the country. Yes. To hear things like that, what does that mean to you? Because, I mean, this is home for you. You are from Gainesville. I am, yes. What does that mean to you? Well, I'll tell you one tidbit of information that makes me very proud. Um, my wife and I raised three daughters here in Gainesville. Uh, they all went to public school here. Not one year of their uh, school education did they not meet a Medal of Honor recipient. Um, so they understood patriotism, they understood service, they understood what it means to, to uh, do more than you're asked to do. And uh, for these recipients to come to Gainesville and understand that we are genuine and that we love our country and that uh, we are patriotic and we do uh, love them for the right reasons, you know, it's, it feels good to, that they know that we're genuine and we're sincere and that's why they love it here. For the Medal of Honor recipients, they talk about how important it is to go talk to the kids in the school yes. and to talk to our future generation to see that. I mean, what goes through your mind at that point when you see that the younger generation, mm -hmm. they're able to learn so much from people who have given their all for all of us? I, that's probably the, huge, the hugest gift they give this community is that they come here and they talk to young people because they want to influence someone who still hasn't decided, what am I going to do with my life? Where do I fit in this big world, you know? How do I, how will I affect change? How will I be part of something bigger than me? And that's what they do with their time. Uh, some want to ask about the day of the battle. Well, these, these gentlemen are like, Look, that was a, a moment in my time that really changed my life, but what really changed my life was coming home and finishing college or starting my own business or raising a family. Uh, that's the kind of stories they want people to hear is that, you know, it was what I did afterwards. And I think that's something else that makes our program so unique is that their families are important to us too. Uh, if you were here last year, we had the Pittman family here. Uh, Richard Pittman's widow and his four daughters donated his medal to the city or Medal of Honor host city program. I'm still speechless over that because we never expected that. This program was not started for that reason, but they trust us with their father and their husband's um, no legacy right here in Gainesville, Texas. We show them that we genuinely love them. You know, one of the things we started doing a few years ago is that <clears throat> recipients that have been here, we bring back some of the widows and some of their children. Um, that means so much to them because you know, a lot of times when the recipients pass, the medal passes with them, and they're not part of anything anymore. And here, they're still part of us. They're our family. Gainesville, Texas is the most wonderful patriotic city I've ever been in in my life. Coming up on News 12 Forum, we hear from the Medal of Honor recipients on what it means for them to be celebrated in the Medal of Honor host city.